All right, what's up gamers out there of YouTube land? It's your boy, the Universal Gamer, AKA the Hobby Collector. And I'm here to give you guys yet another unboxing of a, yet another PS5 accessory. So this time I'll be unboxing the PS5 camera. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. I can't wait to utilize this camera. Um, for the longest I've been saying I was gonna get a camera for my PS4 and start being on camera, uh, doing my gameplays, even though I don't get no views on my gameplays, but it's all good. All right, so let's go ahead and hop to the back of the box, read this bad boy, see what they offer us and spit in game to us. It says, personalize your gameplay sharing. Up your game and step into the spotlight with smooth, sharp, full H HD capture. Hey, but what, what, at what frame rate though? You notice they have no frame rate up on here, so it might be 30 frames per second. 1080p HD capture, capture every unmissable moment in sharp full HD picture quality. Background removal tool. I've been hearing a lot about that and I've been uh, I've been seeing it in action and it looks pretty cool you know what I'm saying if you got a lot of stuff in the background while you're recording it pretty much can create a black background or a white background and just brings you out you know what I'm saying it makes you stand out or it makes the background kind of blurry so background removal tools take center stage in your gameplay creations and then last but not least build built in stand so that's what I have on this one I think I had to buy this one separately but here's the PlayStation 3 camera for the people that haven't seen it. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Boom. So upon first impressions, it's actually bigger. Well, it's about the size that I expected it to be. But it's a little bit bigger than I expected. It's a tad bit, which is not a bad thing. And it actually looks a little bit more premium quality than what it looks on the images and stuff like that. And I like how it looks like the design makes it look like this is floating, like the camera's kind of floating in between these two pieces. I like that. And I'm glad to see this because even the Elgato doesn't even have this. And you're about to see what I'm talking about in a moment. It's actually USB 3.0. You know what I'm saying? It's not no USB, regular USB like the Elgato got. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you're going to be capturing something that, that sends uh, a lot of data and at, fast, at a fast pace, you got to have a USB 3.0. Alright, so on each side you have a PlayStation logo. You know, I'm going to take all the plastic all the way off. As you can see, this lifts up and down like that, like so. And then when you lift it up, more advertisement. It says Sony right there. Go ahead and slide this plastic off. All right, so I got that tape off and so how would this go into your TV if it, if the TV is like that, how would this clamp down onto a TV? I don't get it. The bezel goes up around like that. How would that sit on top? What? Ah, uh, Sony, y'all fucking up already. I honestly don't see how this will sit on top of it. Oh, because it lifts all the way down like that. Okay, I didn't, I didn't notice that. So it sits on top like that. And then you can kind of like adjust it a little bit. It's kind of similar to the PS3 camera. You know, see how this opens up like that. And then right here, it has like a little rough finish a little bit. Another little detailed design, just in case you guys missed it or don't didn't see it. It has the, I'll turn it around this way. Right there, inside there, it has the square triangle X and circle right there in the inside right there. I like little stuff like that. Also, I noticed that this is rubber right here. This part right here is rubber. So if you do have it sitting on top of something like this, at least it'll kind of like, you know, keep the grip. So, yeah, I like this PlayStation camera. Not bad at all. I haven't been on camera gaming in a long time either. You know, I always just do commentary and record the gameplay. So it's to be refreshing to be back on camera and stuff like that and just being goofy and make people laugh. And, you know, my underrated laughs, but it's all good though. 2021 is coming. So as you can see, the PlayStation 3 microphone is right here. That's a microphone, um, you know. This one doesn't look like it has a microphone built into it, which isn't that bad, you know, I don't really care. 
And then on this camera, on the PlayStation 3 camera, it had this little, you can twist the lens to make it wide angle or, you know, narrow. On here, it doesn't have that, but I'm pretty sure the implementation of both these lenses is gonna do some, you know, really do some things. Yeah, I can't wait to use this bad boy. And all these accessories, all these Sony accessories, just like the PS2, and I think some of the PS1 accessories and a couple of PS3 accessories. Um, once those Sony accessories go out for after like the first year, they don't sell them no more. And those accessories become very rare and hard to find. Like I had the PS1 multi-tap that allows you to play four players. That thing was very rare when I had brought that thing and very hard to find. You know, at least the Sony, the Sony branded ones are hard to find because Sony already know that third party is going to make a lot of this stuff and stuff anyway. So they put their stuff out and then after that, they don't really make no more. From, from the point of this video, this is two days from the PS5 launch. This remote went from 30 bucks to 50 bucks now. This camera is no longer 60 bucks. This done went up in value. I forgot exactly how much uh, at this point, but this done went up in value. Same thing with the charge station. That's gonna be the first thing that Sony stopped selling. There's not gonna be no more of those at all. Mark my words. Just like I told you guys when Sony was gonna come out with the uh, pre-orders for the PS5, I was right. And just like I'm saying about the charge station for the, for the controllers, that's going to no longer be available. All you're going to be seeing is nothing but third-party charge and play, uh, you know, stations. You're not going to see Sony no more. Once the, once the first year go past, that's going to be it. I'm glad I dodged that bullet and went ahead and got these accessories and stuff. And, you know, I'm glad about that. So with that being said, people of YouTube, um, well, first, I actually wanted to do a test on my PS4 to see if this works on the PS4 and stuff, just like I did with this remote. Um, and no, you cannot go to the menus from this remote through your TV. I was hoping that you could, but you can't. You'll, all you can do is turn on the TV, do the volume, and mute it. That's about it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and actively show you guys me connecting this and putting it onto my TV and everything and, you know, go from there. All right, so there it is. But one thing I will say, yeah, I do like how the um, PS3 camera kind of like the this part right here flap that lifts up and down. I like how that part on the PS3 clicks. On here, it doesn't click. Actually clicks. You know what I'm saying, see that? So when you got it set a certain way, it's not gonna go nowhere. Barely going anywhere by me hitting it. So of course it's not gonna go nowhere on the TV, but the PS5 camera, even though I'm having it already, it's just, it's just, it's just smooth. You know, it doesn't click or nothing you know so even though it's stiff it's stiff enough for the most part but i can see it kind of like getting loose after a while also another good design element for this camera let me zoom in is this little um this little lip right here know you guys can see that or not but that rests right over and it has like a little not rubber right here, but like a little extra little plastic piece right there. That's where it's gonna rest on top of your TV yet. And it stops it from like falling backwards off your TV because this little lip right here. There you go. Let you guys see a better angle of it. I guess that's good. It's staying up there, you know, it's not, it's not bad, not bad, not bad. All right. All right, so I currently got the camera plugged up. All right. So let's go ahead and see something. Let's go ahead and see if it detects the camera or not settings uh devices playstation camera adjust playstation camera adjust the playstation camera so that your position can be correct correctly recognized the playstation 4 will take the first picture position yourself so that your face fits the frame it's funny, I've never been on the screen ever in my life, kind of never brought the PS4 camera. But as you guys can see, it's not working because it's a PlayStation 5 camera, not a 4. But I was, you know, just to test it out for the folks out there, for those of you that's wondering, I know if, you're, if I was about to buy this, I have the same questions like you guys. So, yes sir. I can mute the microphone if I want to, which is, you know, that comes in handy. In case you haven't headphones, you don't want the, you know, camera um, audio to be on. That's gonna do it for this. PlayStation 5 accessories video is currently midnight right now, a little bit after midnight. I got off at 11 o'clock and um, came to unbox my camera. Um, it's currently two days before the launch of the PS5. Uh, the Xbox One X came out today and the Xbox One X, uh, really? 
Universal Gamer, the Xbox Series X, ain't my fault that damn name is retarded, and the Xbox Series S came out today, getting my son a Series S eventually, um, hopefully before Christmas, but um, yeah, man, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching this, let me know what you guys are getting down below, either way it goes, it's gonna be, feels real good to be a gamer, you know, these days, especially with what's going on, you know, get your mind off of stuff and just, you know, unwind with something that's gonna make you feel good with all the drama and craziness that's going on in the world today. So with that being said, people of YouTube, it's been your boy, The Universal Gamer. Go ahead and give me a subscribe. And also, it's been your boy, The Hobby Collector. These, these videos will be going up on both my channels, all my PlayStation 5 videos, all 25 to 30 of them. From now, going towards the end of the year, from now, going towards the end of the year, you guys will see 20 to 30 PlayStation 5 videos from me, guaranteed. So with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.